Hey, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com, and yesterday I did a video on how to create a click track, and as you can see, we have that right here, and as you can hear, it's still working. Now, the issue is that's not a very pretty sound to listen to, and most musicians, or some musicians, have a hard time playing along with a click track that sounds like that. So I'm going to show you how to create uh, a click track, but one that uses drum sounds or whatever sounds you want actually to give you something a little more musical. So we're going to delete this track and come in and create a new, uh, instead of an aux track, we're going to make an instrument track. All right, and as you can see, here's our instrument track and we're going to name that click. Now if we come up to the top here, we're going to come in and insert a plugin that comes with Pro Tools and that is called Expand and I can't get the window to show you. There it is, Expand 2. Now what Expand is is a virtual instrument that comes with Pro Tools, has a lot of sounds from keyboard sounds to um, drums and things and we're gonna come down here to drums and we're gonna pick the uh, the kick menu here. Now if I hit on my controller keyboard here you can hear there's all sorts of kick drum sounds. And that's, a lot of times when I'm recording, I prefer to play along with something like that as opposed to the, you know, a, a marimba or a cowbell. So we've got that sound there. Now what do we do? Okay, well I take note here that that note that I'm hitting is C1, and I want that to be my kick drum sound. So now we come up to the menu uh, to set up, click, slash, count off. And that'll pull up this window here. And basically, we'll set the output for our click track to expand. Now, whatever virtual instruments you have open and running, it'll give you in this menu. So you come and select the one you want, and channel 1 is the channel that that kick drum is on. And we set the note, whichever one we want. As soon as we hit the controller, it changes here. So I think I want that one. And all we do is hit OK, come back out and hit play. And so some people may not like a kick drum. They may want to use a hi-hat or a tom or a snare. But, you know, that just, the possibilities are endless there. And as you can see back here, this is set to channel one. So there's four channels in each instance of Expand. So we could have a kick drum going along with a hi-hat if we wanted. I do that sometimes to give it a little more high end so I can hear it a little better if I'm playing a real uh, loud or heavy part. But um, that's, that's proven to be very good for me when I'm recording um, a lot more musical. I feel like I can play a bit more um, with a bit more feel and a bit more just looseness, I guess, as opposed to the regular click track. So there you go. That's um, a very cool way to um, be creative with your click track. And if you have any questions on that, leave a comment on this post. I'd love to see what you guys are doing with click tracks and how you're utilizing those. And if you're watching this on YouTube, head back over to my website. You can join the discussion there. Uh, the website is homestudiocorner.com. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.